The Bar Life takes you behind the scenes of six high-volume competitive bars in beautiful Santa Barbara, California. I take a shot of Patron. It's potentially one of the best jobs in the world. Two shots, then it's on. Give me some more. <laughs> Three shot, four shot, five shot, oh shit, I think I'm gone. He's party like an asshole, you know. See how the employees handle the highs and lows that come with the job. When people are drunk, they do stupid things, otherwise you shouldn't work in a bar. There's so many girls, it's so much temptation. Everyone should be in the bar business. Santa Barbara is awesome because it's a very small town, and if you're in the industry, you could be like me. I know every bartender, every bouncer, every owner, every cocktail waitress, every promoter. I know everyone in this town. I can walk anywhere, get in, I get free drinks, I get anything I want. They treat you like royalty here. My job is just to, you know, be friends with hot chicks, you know? I mean, you don't necessarily have to hook up with them. You are almost on stage every time you work. It's what, it's what you get when working in a bar. You're not gonna, like, you can't go into a shower and not get wet, you know? You're gonna go to a bar, you're gonna get messy. But I get paid to be at a nightclub and drink a lot. <laughs> I mean, I bartend in my bathing suit. Shake that. If you think I don't have guys come up to me all day, every day, just be pathetically ridiculous. You can act like I'm interested, but I'm really not interested at all. It's just my job, because I know if I act interested, they're gonna come back and they're gonna see me. No one wants to see the chick with a boyfriend. Having a relationship downtown definitely creates a lot of tension um, just because there's so many people involved in your relationship. I call Braylon the snake charmer because he's got those beautiful little blue eyes and that little boy looks and he'll charm the shit out of you. Braylon, a little shady. He acts like he's such a good guy. Full fucking shit. He is the biggest player I've ever met in my life. People do like to stick their nose in a lot of things, especially things they don't know about. People might say, you know, sleeping around and stuff, but you know, personally, I believe it's only natural just to have have a little bit of fun. I love the girls out here. You gotta love them. You gotta love them. You can't. You can't not. I definitely. Uh, I definitely have a certain way of charming. I guess girls. I think he's going for quantity, not quality. I think he's hot. If I end up with someone, I end up with someone, you know, it, it is what it is. Step inside and see why the bar life means business. It's all about calculations. I mean, while these people talk to me and tell me what the, they'll do for me at these nightclubs, I'm thinking numbers. Promoters get paid to party, that's what they get paid to do. Promoters are douchebags. People are like, oh, you're a promoter. And I was like, no, I, I do it a little differently, you know. And I'm the one that's throwing the events and bringing hotter girls than you could possibly do. So there's a lot of money that can be made off of partner. Being the new guy's tough. You got people yelling at you, you know, hey, give me this, give me that. And so you got to be on top of your game. And Dealing with drunk people when you're sober sucks. There's a huge brawl, and then uh, the entire dance floor got a huge brawl. And all the security guys handled it well, but um, it was really scary. I'm shaking. <laughs> times now where it's like, dude, can I get through the night? You know, it's just I mean, it's impossible. So you're doing all these things at once, and you're constantly moving. And if you're drinking, then you can kind of roll with it and turn it into a joke, you know, and then maybe have a little bit more fun with it. And someone's like yelling at you like this, like snapping at you, and if someone does that, like, I flip out. I'm like, you need to have some respect. As long as I don't go over the line with party at work, then whatever. This is nicer than I'm very happy about. There's lots of girls that are stupid and drunk. I just like to be around people and I like to feel their energy. And There's a beautiful balance between having your feet on the ground and your head in the clouds. I think Johanna is going to be eaten alive in this industry because she's sweet, she's naive. I just thought she was like on crack or something. This girl's talking about like the universe. I love feeling good about myself. But she has no idea what she's getting herself into. Get right in your head first. And then the upper, then the universe will give. She's always talking about very new agey kind of things. And typically stupid. I'm sorry, wait, oh, I'm sorry, I got lost a little bit. Drinking is part of the job, and I've only worked one shift sober just because it's really hard to handle the customers, and especially guys when they're drunk. Um, and you're sober. Like that group of table, like the foreigners are just super rude and like situations like this, I just, I probably wish I'd just use my college degree and get a real job. This isn't just the job that I'm doing just for the extra means of cash, this is what I'm doing as my job. 
that I will have fun no matter what, I'll do it with a smile on my face, so I will, I will get cheeky if needs be. I will cause havoc, whether behind the bar, on the floor, all for good reasons, of course. Get behind the bar and find out what it takes to pour the drinks, run the door, and bring the party to some of the highest volume bars in the country. It's just gonna be just pure madness, you know? See what happens when your job makes you the life of the party. I'm gonna sign contracts and make a shit ton and party my fucking dick off. I mean, to be frankly honest with you, I guess everyone wishes they could be me. Tensions run wild. If, if you piss me off, you piss off everyone, because if I'm not your friend, you're no one's friend. We all, like, have our little issues of getting all feisty when we drink. This town definitely perpetuates the drama. I never burn bridges. You know, I just shake the shit out of them. Sexual chemistry is barely contained. It's, it's fair game. Anybody can get going with anybody. I've seen girls get chewed up and spit out in two seconds in this town. You gotta be smart. And dreams are made and broken before last call. Get ready for the bar life. It's more fun than anything. I love it.